I think being an entrepreneur, there's never an end to the amount of challenges that you come across. You know, when when you have reduced hours and you have a lot less people coming into your uh, cafe, I think that that really took us back to when we first opened, you know, when you just had to take risks and, and be able to think outside the box. It's like going from what, 60 to zero. <laughs> um, it, it was just, everything stopped. I, I, I think there's gonna be continued challenges throughout the year. I, I don't think this is gonna be like reopen and everything is gonna be completely better right away. We knew guests were just going to be looking for different a different way to interact with our cafes. And if we didn't provide it, we would be losing out on those guests or not providing the service that they want. So that's why we decided to just launch our uh, mobile app two months earlier than what we really wanted to. Um, but I mean, also launching it early came some stuff that we would have never thought of, uh, like the whole Brew It Forward piece of our app. Guests were actually wanting to purchase uh, drinks for friends or family that they knew that were working in those uh, areas. There's just a lot of other people support staff in the community that uh, they don't want forgotten, you know, at a hospital, a clinic, they don't want to forget about the people who work in grocery stores or, you know, the people who collect their garbage, you know, pol police station, fire station, those types of uh, first responders as well. There's a series of different donations that you could make and we will give uh, the order over to them. I think it was really creative on the guest part because they were just doing this on their own. Uh, and then we just found a uh, pathway in which they, it could be easier for them. But this was actually an idea from guests as a way to not only help those uh, essential workers, but also help support a, you know, a food service establishment that was in need as well. So I guess it's going to be looking more towards either the community helping to support those businesses or, you know, trying to be able to wait out for the next round of funding. You have to have that spirit to get to the end. And, you know, I, I think there will be an end. It's just you have to fight all the way through and, you know, try to find some support from other business owners because everybody has really great ideas. So you're, you know, definitely you're not in this by yourself. <laughs> There's a whole world out there that is feeling the same pain. I know everybody, you know, all of my team, my staff, the guests that come in, they're all looking forward to this kind of you know, opening up, being set aside, you know, having life normal again. I don't know how normal it will be and how fast that will happen, but everyone's just really looking forward to that. As soon as there's one warm, nice day, you see everybody coming out. We're all in, in a similar boat. I mean, I'll, I'll look into the light at the end of the tunnel.